Hey, what's up guys? More like a good evening. Um, just hit six o'clock and we got to do some snakehead fishing. That's right. Uh, I got my Frog King Jr. If you guys are interested in uh, getting some of those, I did restock. I got like six colors. So uh, yeah, message me, you know, Instagram or email me. And uh, yeah, these frogs are amazing. Not just for snakeheads, for bass, you know, any, anything that loves top water bite. This is a great lure. Anyhow, um, let's get to it. Let me show you guys my tackle for today. All right, fam. So bring it back out my Tatula right here, the Tatula Elite. Okay. And I got the Gomex's handle. It changes color. That's right. It's supposed to be like a whitish color, but with UV, it turns purple. So if you guys see this purple handle, boy, girls, you better um, wear some, uh, you know, some clothing, whatever, whatever you want to cover up. You know, life's too short. Anyhow, uh, I got some J Braid. 50 pounds, got Dobbin Sierras, and this is the uh, SA735C. Heavy action rod, okay? And uh, the lure I'm throwing, obviously, Frog King. Look at that, got a green one. Uh, yeah, it's pretty mucky back here. Hopefully there's some uh, good stuff in the shallows. I'm assuming it's gonna be a banger, because evening bites is always better in springtime, and this is the first time I get to fish evening, because uh, my wife lets me go out sometimes, you know? She loves me, and I love her. All right, folks. Exploring some interesting swamps in my backyard. Never been here this time of the year. Pretty much uh, spring. You can see that there's emerging spider ducks over there. Fallen tree right here. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna try to find some ooh, some panfish right there. So I know there's fish here. Uh, so far, I've caught bass and bluegills here. Okay. But uh, since it's tidal, I'm assuming there's some snakeheads here. Okay. So. I'm gonna see, you know, if I can entice some snakeheads to come bite me. Never know. Never know until you try. All right. Gotta be something hiding right underneath that. Oh, what's up, dude? Don't worry, I'm, I'm not gonna bother you. Seriously, I said I won't bother you. You still came, came up at me like, you know. Don't worry, I'm not gonna bother you. Do you have eggs here? Eggs? Okay, it's okay, dude. I'm going that way, okay? We're, we're hanging out together. Wanna hang out together? Don't worry. Dude, I told you, we'll hang out together, okay? Dude. Whoa, whoa, chill, chill. Hey, hey, don't bite my, don't, hey, why? I told you, I won't touch your eggs. Chill out, okay? Chill, dude. Don't worry, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. What do you want, dude? Ah, it's okay. Don't worry. Once I figure out how to get on that side, I won't bother you, okay? Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, I'm gonna cast this way, okay? Have you guys ever fished next to a, a mean geese that's th protecting their nest? Like, that's what's happening right now. He's just uh, hissing at me. I won't bother you, you don't bother me. We're, we're cool, right? We're cool? No, oh, can we be friends for a bit? Okay, just, just a little bit. Come on, dude, I'm not that horrible, am I? Dude, that looks like a, that looks like a snake head. Hey, dude, chill out. I'm trying to get a snake head. Aye, that hurts. Jeez, why did you hurt me for? I'll go this way. Something's coming right behind me. Yeah, it's a small guy. He made a small little wig and that was it. No more. Oh, oh, I bumped something. He's bumping me. But he's not taking the whole thing down. What the heck is this? Yo, take it like you want it. Because if you don't, well, there's another fish that would probably take it away from you. Oh, crap. What the heck was that? A geese. There it is. There's some fish here, but it doesn't seem like they real. Oh! No! Oh. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, that wasn't a strong hook set by any means. What the heck? 
Oh, yeah! Dude! Mondo! Mondo! Oh, God! Dude! Dude! Get, 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 get! You're like a few inches away. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Woo! Yeah! Snakey, snakey! Let me get situated. Oh, my gosh. Oh, easy, 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 easy. You're muddy. Oh, it's all over me in the camera! Come back and swim in there. Get the mud off you. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, okay. Wash it off. Wash it off. Wash it off, buddy. All right. You good? All right, let me get you up very quick so I don't get any more mud all over me. Come on. It's all good. It's all good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, so hard to handle. So hard to handle. Ugh. All right. Okay. Whew. Let's go. Let's go. Keep the uh, line up high for a second. <laughs> All right, well, that was the first one of the year. I'm all messy now. He slapped me in my face or she, no idea. But uh, one thing I realized is when it comes to these tidal swamps, sometimes they're just in a super, super shallow. Like this is like barely any water. Like if I look at this, it's probably like four inches. That is insane. No, it's less than that. It's probably like three. Yeah, my frog is getting closer and I can actually see the See a little bit clearer. Oh my. Shallow water monsters. Let's go. Yeah, top water fishing is one of my favorite things to do. <sighs> Especially with frogs. These frog juniors, frog king juniors, the bomb.com. You guys need to get some of these. ASAP. Something to my left. I don't know if they're carps or they're the snakeheads. But yeah, I saw some activity here, which I probably won't share because I spent about five minutes chasing these two things. And when it came up, I saw the fence like, oh crap, that's been a carp all along, wasting my time. But imagine a carp hitting my top water frog. Ain't that something? Anyways, anything hiding next to these logs, don't overlook logs and pulling over the logs just like that. And once you pull over the log, you, you could do a pause, you know, because sometimes it's hiding just at the crevice. And sometimes, you know, because the logs are not even, it may create, you know, little tunnels going to the other side, or, you know, if it's not actually touching the bottom, you know, um, depending on the angle, like that guy right there, there could be some uh, open spots, you know? So make sure you guys fish it well, like very well. Are you serious, Jimbo? What kind of cast is that? Something's right there. Oh, oh, he missed me. Miss me again? Miss me again? Heck, you gotta take me or what? Ah! Dude! Snaking! Let's go, let's go. Let me just, I guess I can pull the gripper from here. Keep his head up. Dude, it was just right there. Two, two. Come on, come on, open up. Open up the shot. Open up the shot. Let's go. Oh, I am now muddy. All right, you know what? Let's see if I can just put them up right here. All right, chill. Wow, that's a pretty good looking one. Hello. What's up, dude? Dang, look at this guy right there. Woo! Not a solid guy. Probably not a four pounder. Let's go guys, let's go. Spring snakehead fishing. 
There's a log right there. Gotta be something right behind these logs. Oh, got a bass. Woot woot. Look at that. Oh, no, 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 no. What the heck? Anyways, glad you went back in there safe. Not on this. Look at that. If it fell on that, dude, I'd be sad for days. Most of the steak heads are very close to structure and very close to the shoreline right now. So um, hopefully I get one more before the end of the you know evening. I'm already late, by the way. So um, I gotta go quickly, fast. Take it. Got him. Swing towards me. Let me put the. Oh man. Oh man. This one's a fighter. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, are you humongous? You humongous snake. Ah, dude. Thick one. Thick one. Oh my. Huge, 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 huge. Uh. Oh. Uh. Wow. This guy right here gotta be at least a, I don't know, a good old six pounder. Oh man. Six pound monster. Oh, yes, it's a bass. Boat flip, bass, let's go. Oh yeah. Woo, good one to end the day. That's what I'm talking about. Bassing it up, let's go. All right, off we go this way, to lose. All right, all right, first and foremost, face check. That fish flop Friday, woo, I think it's real, man, no joke. But man, the, that one snakehead, first snakehead of the year, woo, yeah, man. Uh, catching snakeheads on top water, my favorite way to do it. So uh, if you guys want to see me catch snakeheads throughout the year with some other type of lures, leave me a comment below. But you guys will definitely see me mainly top water, top water frogging. You know, that's that's my game. Anyways, um, fun, fun, fun day. Uh, I actually pond hopped, hopped two ponds, did terrible, like seriously terrible. Uh, I actually lost. Uh, Lord down there trying to BFS fish for some you know bass and snakeheads at the deeper side. That's where all the panfish and bass were at. But uh, like three casts, I freaking got snagged. So um, yeah, I went back to the car, got my frogging outfit. I even got my lure back, which is great. So you guys will definitely see that uh, rebel, okay, that little uh, darting lure. And another episode once I fix the hook. I think I'm gonna just bend it back in place. Maybe swap to single hooks. Who knows? But um, yeah, man. It was interesting because when I was going back into the deeper woods, um, where the water looks like it's, you know, Shrek world, like, you know, nasty, muddy water. That's where they were at. You know, shallow water, the sun was beating down on it all day. It was warm. That's that's where they were at. OK, so if you guys are into catching snakeheads and you guys want to uh, catch them early spring, like right now, this is like mid April with a weird uh, 72 degrees uh, day. Hit up some shallow waters. OK, shallow waters and in the evening, evening is the key. And uh, I'm actually very hungry right now, so I'm gonna actually head home. But uh, if you guys wanna see me do more steakhead fishing, leave me a comment below, let me know what you guys wanna see, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll put some time into you know doing those things. And if you guys wanna see some BFS snakehead fishing, which is always tough, it's very tough, because you have a strong jaw, you always have to use like strong setups, strong hook setting of power rods and you know frogs and stuff like that. But uh, you know, once in a while, I do throw some BFS stuff, like uh, that small BFS, uh, was it four grams? About four gram frog from Bait Finesse Empires, and you know, I catch some of them. I lose a lot of them because you know, I can't get the 
proper hook set with a medium light rod, but it's still fun. So let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see, and uh, potentially I'll be on the channel very soon. Thank you for watching, guys. The fish don't wait. Don't delay. The fish are really, really biting. Get them.